Hello everybody and welcome to another board game discussion video. Today's topic is all about what I'm calling the board game workout. Now this is a bit unusual because it's based off of a specific article that was published not too long ago on ESPN that talked about chess grandmasters and how they train and behave like Olympic level athletes at a physiological level. As a scientist, it really intrigued me and I was super excited to read about it and see if I could try to apply some of the same things to regular board games, but before I really get into it, two major things. First, if you haven't seen the article, take a look at the description because the link is in there. And secondly, please let me know anything and everything that you guys think about this. If you've read the article, do you think it's kind of cool? Do you think it's unusual? Did it surprise you? Please let me know anything and everything that you want to say in the comments. To briefly summarize what the article talked about, it followed several chess grandmasters at really high elite world level tournaments and tracked them for about six months um, where it was like three months before, three months after, and then of course during very high ranking tournaments and essentially looked at how they exercised, how they ate, how they slept, and all of that kind of stuff during that time so they could sort of track their physiology and all that kind of thing and how they um, handled certain aspects. The crux of the article is basically that while chess grandmasters are at tournaments playing, they are burning the same amount of calories as Olympic level athletes or even more. That means that they are actively losing weight while they are playing chess. Most notably, there was an instance back several decades ago where a grandmaster match had to be stopped because one of the, uh, one of the competitors had had lost so much weight. I want to say that it was 20 or 24 pounds, somewhere around there. It was a huge amount of weight, and you can imagine the guy is literally just playing chess. It doesn't make sense. So they went and talked to a bunch of kinesiologists and essentially said, well, chess is a game that is all about mental focus. At a tournament, you're going to be focusing on the current match, the previous match, the next match, the way that you're attacking, the way you're defending, how you're opening, and it's a constant cycle inside of your brain. Your brain is always working on overdrive and so it's constantly burning more and more and more calories and you're reaching that upper limit of what humans are capable of burning in a single day. It's absolutely incredible. Not to mention the fact that even though you're sitting, you're sitting in a very tense position. Your muscles are not relaxed. They're all flexed. They're all tense. And so that means that you're burning more calories that way. One of the people that attract is the current world grandmaster, Magnus Carlsen. And it talked about how um, he hydrates and and maintains his energy levels during tournaments. It talked about how he has a specific way of sitting to take strain off of his neck and back. It even talked about how he is training with the Olympic team for Norway so that he can get some of their secrets and make sure that he maintains his cardiovascular health so that he can keep up with the tournament life. And it just sort of got me thinking, that is amazing. It's chess. Can we do it with other board games? And the problem is, I don't know. I really want to find out. Again, as a scientist, I would love to run a couple of experiments to try and figure this out. I actually have access to some of the tools in order to do it. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that at some point I'll be able to go into a tournament or host just a really massive gaming marathon or something with some really heavy strategic games and just sort of see what happens and see if it really works. Because the fact is, anybody who works out knows that Working out tends to not be very fun. Can you imagine if you could work out playing board games? That would be awesome. It would be the next big gym. Like you can imagine the spokesperson be like, do you want to lose weight? You come over here and you're going to play Twilight Imperium until you sweat. Well, I mean, you're not going to sweat because you're going to be under AC, but still, it's going to be awesome. And you're able to burn calories while you play games. It's absolutely amazing. So it's just a very fascinating article, and it's a really interesting topic, and not something that we normally think about when you think about both board and video games. But the fact is, the same laser level focus is there that you see with any other elite level athletes. And so you'll see a lot of these chess grandmasters running, playing tennis, playing 
playing soccer for hours and hours and running for miles and miles on end. Not to mention they're eating all of this protein and carbohydrates and all of the things that you see these massive people eat, but they're always skinny like bean poles. It's just really fascinating and it's a really cool article. But that said, it's more than enough ranting and rambling for me. Again, I'm hoping that I can set something up to really try this with some of the more advanced board games because I think it would be really cool to see. Um, but that said, once again, if you guys um, haven't seen it before, please take a look in the description for the link to the article and let me know any and all of your personal thoughts on the topic. I think it's really fun. I think it's really cool and I would love to have some more discussion in the comments. But again, it's more than enough for me. Thank you so very much. If you haven't done so already, please take a look at my various social media pages as well as my Patreon where you can interact with myself and my channel in a bunch of really fun ways. But with that, thank you once again. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.